All right, guys, so I'm here with Jackie, who um, just wrapped up one of her 90-day goal-setting sessions. Um, so some of the goals that we set, we were focused on losing some body fat. Um, we wanted to see that number go down. Not so focused on weight loss, even though that's um, ultimately kind of what helped contribute to that body fat percentage, but we were really focused on just getting to a healthier composition, right? So we were able to do that. Um, not only did you meet that goal, but you surpassed it. So you lost about a little over 5% um, body fat in 90 days, which is phenomenal. How do you feel about that? Awesome. So tell me a little bit about what hitting this goal has helped you do outside of the gym or even within the gym. Uh, outside the gym, I can, I go for runs uh, a couple times a week. So now I can run and not need to take a break um, in my runs, which is great. And I just feel like I can keep going um, and breathe easier. Um, my I guess my heart rate, uh, when I run, it's not, I feel like it's not through the roof. I don't feel like I'm pounding in my head anymore, so that's... that's so your conditioning that's, is clearly improving, right? Yes, Your ability yes. to manage that stimulus? Yeah, definitely. And keeping up with my kids, actually surpassing my daughter um, on many things. Woo! Nice. On the monkey bars for a little while. Yeah, yeah. right? Um, and in the gym, I mean, I feel like I'm closer to not near a pull-up, but definitely I can hold my own body weight easier now, which is nice. And I feel like I'm keeping up better in classes. Um, it's definitely reflecting in my uh, scores after class. So that's been nice. Awesome. And now the other goal that you, one of the other goals that you had was to improve your dead hang, right? So like, that's just your ability to hang on our pull-up bar and just be able to hold your own weight. So like, um, we set a goal of about a 45 second hold like over 90 days that clearly improved right we know that like how do you feel about that improvement was it something like right when we said it it was something that was kind of challenging for us and now you're doing it with ease does that feel cool yes it does it's, it's nice being able to have more control over my body and get to tell what to do and it be a little bit easier so that's nice awesome um, just feeling a little stronger there love it and then um have you been a member of many other gyms before no, I've joined like the YMCA in the past, but I never really stuck to it. Um, so this is probably my longest gym type membership in any sense. Awesome. And, and do you find these 90 day goal setting sessions valuable? They are, yeah. And they, they hold me accountable most of all, because I just keep it in my head that, okay, in so many days I'm meeting with Vanessa and I really want to see that I've improved. So being able to track it on paper and like at the gym, um, it's nice. It's definitely a motivation. You know, you're not sliding under any radar, right? No. So yeah, like exactly. when you, when you first started, you were doing like, you were meeting with somebody regularly, right? So like, even now that you don't have that, maybe that same level of hand holding, like you still know that you're being checked in and cared for. And how does that make you feel as an athlete? It definitely makes me feel good. Yeah. I like that. I can kind of, uh, get out there and do my own thing and, uh, not Hold your own. Yeah, hold my own and not necessarily need the help and know my way around the gym now. It's definitely a lot better. Awesome. So last thing, we set three new goals. Um, we're still working on improving our body composition, right? We focus on gaining some, some muscle mass and we focus on uh, building some strength. So in 90 days, um, when we meet again, if we do another video, what's what's are we going to have that 107 pound front squat for five reps? Yes. I'm awesome. It a goal. For sure. Awesome. Love it. Thank you.